All right, let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, and again, this one um, about the Browns' play calling. Yeah, Dave, uh, this is Jerry from uh, Avon, Indiana. I haven't heard this discussed anywhere before, but do you think that it's possible if Van Pelt was calling the plays and uh, Stefanski was kind of overseeing the whole thing and not concentrating so much on uh, what his next series of plays are going to be, if some of those decisions would have been made differently at the end of the last couple of minutes of the game on Sunday? Uh, enjoy your show. Thanks. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. I, by and large, I, I don't know how you feel, Quincy, so I don't want to put words in your mouth. I didn't think there was any real coaching issues. They were kind of player issues more so than anything uh, that led to that collapse. Yeah, and I think we uh, there we have this ideal of football coaches from movies <laughs> that I don't think is like realistic when you're talking about motivating grown adults, right? Like I'm around the age of an average NFL player. I'm 27. You know it's not going to make me upload videos faster if another grown man decides he's going to scream in my face about it. That's just not happening for me. Like, that's not going to do it for me. I don't know a lot of other grown men where that works for them for, right? And I would imagine most of the grown men saying this don't appreciate that kind of uh, uh, approach at their place of work. But we demand it in this place of work. Knowing that we don't appreciate it, thinking that it's going to work for them. No, man, football players are no different. Some of them have heard so much screaming and yelling at this point that no screaming and yelling that they're going to hear at 28 years old is going to make any difference to them. What motivates a player is internal. They have to figure it out themselves. There is nothing Kevin Stefanski is going to say magically to them in the moment. This is not Friday Night Lights. This is not every given Sunday. Day. This ain't remember the Titans. We're not going to give a magical halftime speech and all of a sudden we're going to communicate better. No, they need to talk to each other internally, have something like, a, you know, a players only meeting where they discuss what's going on in this breakdown of communication and then implement solutions. That's how problems are solved amongst adults in the real world. What's not going to solve it if it's Kevin Stefanski decides to take off his headset in the middle of the game, stop doing his job, by the way, if he does that, and then decide to chew out everybody for giving up points and, and say, do better. And then he misses three play calls and then they give up more points because of that. So that's not going to help them be better. What is going to help them be better, in my opinion, and I, I, it's my opinion, but I believe I'm right on this. Uh, but what is going to make them better is if they start to just communicate with each other. The, the players need to get the communication right with each other. That's what needs to happen. And you figure out what the breakdown is. Screaming at them in a the moment, not going to fix the problem, man. Like if your car breaks down, screaming at it is not going to fix your brakes, right? You got to get your brakes. You got to calmly talk to somebody to get your brakes fixed. Problems don't get solved by screaming. They don't ever get solved by screaming. They usually just get worsened by screaming and temper tantrums and all that in the moment. That's why I believe in Kevin Stefanski as a leader, because if there's a problem there, he's not the guy who's going to rip it wide open and make it worse. He's the dude that's going to let it sit and then wait till you can put some Band-Aid and some Neosporin on it so it can heal, right? That's what you need. It's not what you want because we watch all these movies, but it's what you need. It is.